Welcome to Anno 2205. So I realized that this is an old game, but due to the fact that Anno 1800 is upcoming, I figured that making a series on this game would actually be kind of fun. As far as Anno games go, this probably isn't the most popular one, but I've logged in around 100 hours on it, and my highest corporation was level 72, I think. So I have a fair bit of uh, experience in the game, and I would say that it's actually quite an enjoyable game, even though it's quite different than the, the other Anno games. So I just figured that we're going to create a new corporation and uh, take it from there. I'm glad you accepted my invitation. Samantha Beaumont, Global Union Supervisor of the Lunar Licensing Program. We have a lot to discuss. But first, I'd like to introduce you to your artificial data amalgamating messenger. Thank you for participating in the Lunar Licensing Program. The program stipulates that your corporation set up operative spaceports to act as bases for a new wave of lunar colonization. You will further assist Global Union in the development of a fusion energy reactor to avert Earth's impending energy crisis. Okay, so uh, corporation name. It's always a <laughs> challenging thing. Um, Caledon Incorporated. Yes. Thanks, but I need to see your corporate logo as well for identification purposes. Of course you do. Uh, let's go with the good old Eden uh, initiative. Logo from uh, Anno 227, no, Anno 2070. My superiors at the Global Union had reservations about you, but I've convinced them. They even decided to allocate you high-grade territory for new corporate headquarters. Choose a sector. I think that we're going to go with the Vid Viridian Coves as our uh, starting sector. You might need... I don't remember. It's either the Wild Water Bay. At least one of these require you to have a DLC. I don't remember which one, but um, the Radiant Coves is uh, one of the uh, sectors that gives you the best um, area for building. So that's where we're going to have our main city. Almost there. We just have to negotiate the terms of your contract with Global Union funding conditions and the like so you can go from standard to advanced to expert to veteran I could potentially go with veteran or uh, expert on this one but let's go with the uh, with an advanced game so that I can um, show you the game without having to struggle with uh, minute minute pardon me details um, we can customize this ourselves, but um, actually, I think I'm going to set the military level progression to fast. We can also set the competitor growth to fast, I think. I've never achieved industry dominance. Not even sure what that is. You can set the trading post. Just paperwork, really. Restocking to... Yeah, let's just keep it at medium. We can set the prices to expensive, and that should keep us at about the middle range of advanced. Ugh. I think I'd like that at full. 
And that one looked plenty. Oh, okay, yeah, right. That's the uh, limitation for how long you have to complete the uh, the assignment maps. Right, so let's just go with these settings and launch. You are now entering phase one of the Lunar Licensing Program. The Global Union assigned you territory in Earth's temperate region to establish a spaceport and a base of operations. The construction of a space elevator to Global Union headquarters is also required. For further instructions, speak to your official contact person. Global Union wishes you success. Thank you. Big place. We'll see if it's big enough for ambitions like yours. One of my colleagues already has high hopes for the area. I'm sure he will ask you to join in his latest prestige project. First things first, though. The protocol demands you bring a spaceport into operation here. The spaceport building site off the coast is still unstaffed. But as soon as you've built the necessary housing, your construction team will be moving in. All right, so I should add that each of the um, sectors that you can choose have different projects. This sector has this uh, second wave monument, which gives us uh, a pretty um, fireworks display. It doesn't really do much, but at least it looks good. <laughs> um, we're starting off on this uh, rather small island here. There are crates you can pick up on the map like that. You can move around easily with the uh, mouse button or you can use the uh, it's scrolling. This is our spaceport. And we have map filters here. I think I want to have coastal sites and mountain sites. Transfer routes isn't that important. Right. Um, this spot here is perfectly suited to support a bridge to the other side. Building one here will give you access to new construction ground. So to get this one, we actually need to have both biopolymers and constructor bots regularly delivered to the bridge for five minutes. Okay, let's just get on with it then. Can build some uh, road here, and okay, zoom in a bit. What I build here is only going to be temporary because I'm going to tear that down again later on. And the reason for that is that I want so this I'll area to be um I hope this helps you. An industrial area. Sorry, I'm getting a bit distracted here. I actually think we can uh, go with another uh like so, like that, and then we need to delete this road here, middle road up there, and we're out of biopolymers. Okay, so we need to build some sunflower farms and some biopolymer factories. Now in the beginning you can't really build any kind of uh, upgrades to your uh, buildings, I think. So this gives us 10. Great. And this gives us building 10. Material shortages shouldn't be an issue anymore. Let's see if that adds up. Yep, it does. So we will build a few of those. Like 
this. Eventually we won't have to build multiple buildings. But that's for later. We need more workers. Your construction crew is one of the first ready. Keep up the pace. Your competitors will try to catch up. For the next construction stage, you'll need qualified ground staff to operate the spaceport. Make sure to adhere to union standards while providing the required infrastructure. Warning. Human resources insufficient. They might need some food, so... Let's build some... Um, I don't remember the, uh, the button for rotating a building, so we're going to check that really quickly. Rotate camera, no. Uh, rotate... Building. Okay, okay. So, comma and period. Build a few of these, and we need some uh, power. Now, you don't want to build these within the radius of one another, of course. Let's build two of those. Gives plenty of power for now. Now it's just a matter of waiting until we have enough of the uh, biopolymer. And we have a lack of workforce at the moment, so uh, we really need to get more buildings up as quickly as possible. You might be wondering what this is, but you'll you'll soon see. It might have to do with this info drone thing here. Level up. Your global market share has increased. Excellent. Go now. We just have to wait for the houses to uh, fill up. Uh, we might actually um, benefit from uh, having some water to our citizens. We need this desalination plant. These days, it's the only way to come by drinkable water. Been a while since Should I'm so definitely guest. help. Yes. What can I do for you? And now we can build the infodrome. Just need one more biopolymer. There we go. And boom. A broad range of information services. This will enable your employees to develop their interests as well as their skills. It's very pretty this game. And now we can start upgrading uh, the uh, residences. Really? I could imagine living anywhere else. Remarkable Let's progress. You've assembled that. construction crews and ground personnel faster than I was expecting. You are more than ready for the first major hurdle. The program demands you connect your city with the Global Union Space Station via a space elevator. So far, only megacorps like the Big Five use such technology. But I'm sure you have the same potential. There we go. Now we also get access to... Uh... The next tier of things, which will give us the excellent. I want that bridge as quickly as possible, to be honest. So let's build a feldspar quarry here, and we can build a cobalt mine over there, and we'll build a road because everything needs roads. 
the um, truck you see here is uh, representing our logistics capacity so without roads the buildings will not function now this one needs both nano ceramics and cobalt five of each so let's build one of those up here good you've gathered the components needed for the elevator only the elevator cable requires special materials you can't produce, but I arranged for a delivery. We need another uh, power plant. And now we actually Logistics need network. Overburdened. logistics. So we'll build one of the, those out here, which increases our logistic network. And now we need even more power, and we also need more human resources. Human resources insufficient. See if we can upgrade another thing of buildings. Seems like work is following me home now, but I don't mind. So, right then. I'll okay, so you need more water, but I still can't add more uh, modules. So we'll just have to go with building another desalinization plant. Construction of new building types possible. Thinking that we can add some more uh, houses. Warning Unfulfilled demand. For specific consumer products. Didn't expect the management to show off. <laughs> Don't think we're going to need more information anytime soon. We have four, which is sufficient. Eventually we're going to need more information, but uh, as I said, this is just a temporary uh, setup. Get up, go to work. Warning. More food. For specific consumer products. There we go. Might be a good idea to keep track of this, actually. So, that bridge requires biopolymers with an optimal input of 25. And optimal input of 15. Okay. Road all the way up here. Like so tear down this. We have one mine here. And that's a water site. This is a coastal water site. There is only one more mine site on this little island, right, okay. That is not ideal because it means that we can't produce bots quicker, but let's just start this. Oh, we require a lot more operators for that. Okay, 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 I'll, I'll build more houses. And I guess we'll have to Upgrade some more of these. Three information. I 
and Team these guys. Ready for implementation. Thank you. These guys are going to require... Um, vitamin drinks. Which I guess means that we need to build some root farms. A couple of those. And they consume 16. I'm producing 16, so let's build one factory for producing drinks. A clever move seen to your staff's good health. Benefits like that make you a more attractive employer. And we need more transportation, of course. Edge. Go, level up again. And of course we need more power. Boom. And we can uh, continue to upgrade some of these. We need 1,000 operators. I think we need 2,000 for the bridge, but... Uh, yeah, but we need ah, 1,000 too. I knew there was something going on here. Nick Papadakis, Papadakis Enterprises. You want a good deal? Just come to my warehouse. Yeah, so we can trade with this uh, Nick Papadakis guy if we want to. I don't think that's here. He's probably over here. How you doing? Long time no see. It's an interesting accent for someone who I would suspect was Greek, but okay. So he he buys stuff and he sells stuff. Um, right. Consumer analyses. Oh, we're not going to do that. For specific commodities. What I actually was looking for was. Turning off the cycle. Yes, we can do that. While it's pretty at night, it's also quite dark. It's a good day. All the more. Right, we need more organic food and we need more water. Um Build some water here. And I can't wait to get more of these module things because it's quite annoying. I have to build one one building. And we also need some food. Or two of those there. My humble four walls. Come in, sit yourself down. We also need more vitamin drinks for these guys to be happy. Which means we need to build two more fruit farms and one more of these drink factories. And then we need more power. Let's go with the tidal facility instead since that gives us a fair bit amount of more power than the um, windmill does. Costs a bit more, you can see in my credit balance here, but it's worth it. And we can upgrade another row of these. The technicians are ready. Start the elevator construction once all other requirements are met. My associate, John Rafferty, is already heading here with the special material deliveries. Excellent. Let's go. Yeah, Rafferty here. Miss Bowman assigned me to ensure the transport safety. Approaching your sector, over. Code Red. We're under attack. Code Red. Damn it! The cargo! Protect the ship! People of Earth, this is the Manifesto of the Moon's Independence. 
The global union waged war on us for generations with weapons like falsehood, negligence, and exploitation. And the LEC bowed its head in servile compliance. But not anymore. Set no foot on the land of our forefathers. We are the orbital watch. The moon is free. Sure. They attacked us out of nowhere, sunk all my ships, and took over the cargo. Now they're blockading the whole sector. No transports are going to make it through anymore. All right. No time to study regulations. Meet Rafferty at the coordinates transmitted. Do whatever is necessary. Okay. Spaceport expansion approved. Get I need to go here. There, and in one piece. In we go. There. That's where the bleeding cowards attacked us. Still circling our cargo ships like a swarm of black flies. And I see they brought reinforcements. Gotta be careful. I've seen them before. They've no compunctions at all. Press past their blockade and free our ships. I got your back. So on these maps you usually get three bonus missions, which you can see with this uh, two orange We have things. an assignment we wish you to complete. You need to find five landmines. Right there were three missile barrages. And there's one over here. When will someone put an end to all this pointless We need to use the wave tide bomb. So let's find the landmines right away. So that's out of the way. A splendid victory. My oh, that was quick enough. Affirmative. Okay, so in this map we have one benefit in the terms of John Rafferty going along together with us so that he will repair our ships all the time. We won't have that luxury later on though. Roger. It's quite dark. Enemy detected. All hands engage. Overhauling in progress. Sorry about that. Open fire. I believe there's a button we can hold down to uh, speed up things. So let me just check that. Um, I thought it was spacebar, but that sent us back to the. Um, Speed the game up, no, not that one. Yeah, Spaces show hide strategy map. I might just be blind, but I can't see it, so let's speed the game up a little bit. Hmm. Think I ah, just you can hold the plus right. button. Full speed ahead. There we go. Copy that. These missions can be a bit boring. Full speed ahead. It's it's quite unusual in terms of uh, it's not really uh, underway. All hands engage. It's quite unique to Anno twenty two oh five these battles. Roger. There we Copy go. That. Destroying those buildings along the coastline usually gives you certain uh, resources that you can uh, bring with you. Ah, so we have three missile barrages. Underway. Which I think that we have to deliver here. There 
Here we go. Nice job you did there. Smooth, efficient. Of course. Do we need to use the wave mine? <laughs> Not me, lads, and I can't fix. On our way. Let's shoot up these things. Use a wave mine here. Not that it will do much good. We can use one there, which will do a bit of good. Attack. Let's destroy that tower. Use a wave mine oh. here. And a wave mine here. And a wave mine here. And that should be five. Excellent. So the fuel things, usually I use the repair drone with this as often as possible, because usually your ships get quite damaged, but uh, in this specific Clear instance we have Rafferty doing that for us, so it's not really a big issue. Clear for action. So we want to kill as much as possible, of course. Which is to say we want to kill everything on the map. Roger. These guys are a bit annoying. Coordinates confirmed. Here, you Here go. we go. You. Thank you. Coordinates confirmed. Let's drop a nuclear bomb there. Open fire. Full speed ahead. Boom, boom. Now we can drop a group nuke Launcher. here. Nuclear missile. Roger. Coordinates confirmed. Those submarines have a tendency to pop up rather oh, okay. unexpectedly. Target acquired. There's a wave mine here. No, no. There. And then again. On our way. And then shoot a little bit. Come on. There you go. As good as you. Boom. Green to go. Then we can destroy this building. These graphene things and stuff. And uh, iridium, they are things that we're going to need to build, uh, or confirmed. buildings can have certain upgrades items, which those will help Clear us with. Action. Let's take down this tower, and then use a wave mine here, Full speed ahead. and then destroy these ones. Excellent. And we'll go for this one. Perfect, and we can use this here, which will give us a few submarines helping us out. Copy that. And let's use a wave mine there. Perfect. And go in behind here to pick up these things. The impulse is actually also quite useful, but. We'll just nuke these guys. Kill this thing. Taking the Bronte. Don't worry, my drones will fix that. Collective objects, partner vehicles, destructible storages. So there is one more building down there. There we go. Let's get down there. Destroy this Battle building. Stations. There we have those. And now it's just a matter of destroying the uh, final uh, ships up here. And of course, we will just nuke them bits and pieces.
You sure him. Knew you had it in you. Perfect. Well, we got some uh, combat experience, some extra graphene, and some iridium. And we leveled up to level 3. Let's just upgrade these ships quickly and leave the mission. Glad you came back unharmed. This attack and then we go back to uh, our shock, city. But the program has to go on. We've lost contact to Lunar Excavation Corp. It seems many moon colonies aligned with the orbital watch. It's all the more important your space elevator goes into operation. There we go. And now we can complete the construction. Cable firmly attached. Elevator car ready for departure. Attention. Approaching Global Union Space Station. Prepare for docking. Congratulations! The first step into space. All purviews of the global economy are now accessible for you. Phase 2 of the Lunar Licensing Program starts now. I'm way too old for adventures like that. Gotta pass next time. So you better make sure you got a decent battle fleet. Stop by the dockyard if you want any ships built or revamped on that. Attention! Under provision of specific consumer goods detected. And now we get to build the modules, which helps immensely. But that will be in the next episode, because I think we are out of time. So uh, thank you very much for joining me, and I hope that you will enjoy this series. So see you all next time.